how to innocently seduce him part six i think so for this one i'm gonna need you to wear a couple of necklaces and make sure that it's necklaces that you don't actually really care about because it's gonna get a little tangled also for this one make sure you wear a shirt that shows a little bit of cleavage because that helps so the next time you're with your boo or your crush or your boyfriend before you go to see them i need you to put on at least two necklaces and kind of get them tangled up in each other then once you get to your boo i need you to be trying to figure out how to untangle them right so you're doing something like this just imagine i have two necklaces on okay Ugh, can you help me untangle these necklaces i slept in them and then when i woke up they were all tangled like this and i can't keep like looking down so can you just help me you have like a better view he's gonna be right there untangling your necklaces and it's innocent because you genuinely just need help. Part seven. How to innocently seduce them, part seven. So this one is gonna be for the guys. This one seems so simple to the point where you would think that it wouldn't have an effect on a girl, but I promise you, it's the little things that count. So the next time you're having your little boo, girlfriend, girl best friend, whatever over your crush, I need you to purposely wear a stained shirt. I know y'all got a shirt with a stain on it in the drawer, pull it out. Then when she comes over and you finally got her in your room, she's sitting on your bed, wherever she's sitting, I need you to be like, dang i got this stain on my shirt what the heck and then pull it over your head y'all be doing that little pull over and it look all cute and sexy do that and when you do this make sure you are on the opposite side of where your shirts are so then afterwards you have to walk across your room without your shirt off to get a shirt i know this seems so simple and like it's not even a big deal but i promise you she is gonna be looking at you like this and you for sure gonna be in a group chat. She gonna be like, y'all guess what he did? Oh my god. Just try it and let me know. And girls, let me know what your reaction would be. Part eight. How to innocently seduce him part eight. So this one is actually gonna get me in trouble. So you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so this one is for anybody who likes boys. Okay, so the next time you with your boo or your crush or your boyfriend or whatever, okay? I need you to be standing right in front of him. Like y'all are having a conversation, he's standing right in front of you, okay? And I also need you to have something in your hand. I don't care if it's your phone, your chapstick, whatever, okay? Something needs to be in your hand. And then what I need you to do is drop it right in front of him. Like while you're talking or while he's talking, play around with it and then drop it. And when you drop it, I need you to bend down. And when you bend down, grab his thigh, like to support you. Like as if you need support to like get down because you went down too fast. And then when you grab the thing you dropped, look up at him first and then be like, sorry. And then slowly get up looking at him oh when i tell you he gonna be like Ooh. Ooh. baby yo you're welcome i know part nine how to innocently seduce them this one is gonna be for the boys this one's also not that innocent <laughs> okay so the next time you're with your crush your girlfriend your boo whatever i need you to pretend that there is something in your eye and it's bugging you and you really need her to like see what it is right so once you're acting like there's something in your eye and you ask her to get it out and she comes up and she's looking at you right i need you to be standing up so i need you to be over her if you're taller than her okay and while she's trying to figure out what's in your eye I need you to just look down at her and smile. And she's probably gonna be like, what? And I need you to be like, I just like seeing you look up at me. Oh! You gonna have her shook. Yeah. She, she is gonna be very, um, you know. So boys, try it out. Girls, let me know what your reaction would be if a guy said this to you. <laughs> Part 10 how to innocently seduce them part 10 so this one is gonna be for my people who like their best friend okay guy or girl doesn't matter so the next time you're chilling with your best friend what i need you to do is tell them oh my god i had the craziest dream last night like i'm still shook and they're gonna be like what like what happened what and i need you to be like actually no i shouldn't even brought that up because it was about you and that's gonna make them want to know even more so they're gonna be like what what happened like what tell me and all i need you to say is no because i shouldn't even be thinking about you that way in the first place and they really don't answer the question don't tell them what the dream was about nothing that is gonna leave their mind open for so much imagination and it's gonna have them picturing you in absolutely amazing ways and it might spark them to make you debut <laughs> you're welcome part 11